Hey, Cook Call Chef Kendra here, and today we are making some edible cookie dough. So let's do what we do and make it happen. We have flour. Now we've cooked this flour a little bit in the microwave because of any contaminants, because this cookie dough will be eaten raw. We have butter, sugar, brown sugar, vanilla extract, salt, water, and semi-sweet chocolate chips. All right, we have a bowl here. And in this bowl, we're gonna get our sugars. That's our white sugar and our brown sugar. And we're gonna get our butter in here. And this butter is soft. And we can use our trusty stand mixer that's to my left. But we're just going to use the hand mixer because almost everyone has one of these. So we're just gonna get in here, start it on low. And what we're doing is creaming our butter and our sugar. And this is gonna take a few minutes. We wanna start it on low and move up to medium. What you're looking for is become lighter in color and fluffy. Next thing we're gonna toss in is our vanilla extract and our water. Start it on low. Salt goes in. and about half the flour. Now guys, we're gonna add the rest of the flour. Low. Now it's mixed, you just wanna mix it till it's combined and you wanna get the dough off these things. Now you just wanna stir in the semi-sweet chocolate chips. There's no eggs in it. Flour has been microwaved so there is no contaminants. It's perfectly fine to eat. You don't wanna bake these in the cookies. They don't have eggs, they don't have baking powder. They'll just be a mess, but if you eat this, it tastes just like cookie dough that you would bake. So like I said before, you can use this in cookie dough ice cream. You can also give it to your kids when you're making baking a cake so they won't want to lick the bowl or when you're making real cookies so they won't want to lick the bowl. You can find this and other fine recipes at chefkendra.weebly.com. That's chefkendra.weebly.com. You know I got you. You can just give them something like this on a spoon and it's all good in the hood. So, how do you keep this? You can just put it in plastic bags, freezer safe bags, and freeze it. You can do that in individual portions, or you can freeze it all together. But it lasts about two or three months in the freezer. Yo, share my videos and recipes, and if you haven't already, subscribe. That's all for this time. I'll see you next time. Chef Kendra's out. Peace.